So uh, the last two videos have been about open redirects. The first one was about uh, open redirect attacks. And then we've done the defenses and a little quiz. And now in this uh, video and the next one, we're going to look into unencrypted communication. So it's going to be the same format as it's been for uh, this uh, entire series. You can see it here on the channel. It's all what this format of logo app security as you can see we already have like 5 10 15 20 21 videos in the series now i assume that given this amount of vulnerabilities it's probably going to be around at least 60 to 70 videos so it's going to be quite interesting for me given the fact that i the the schedule that i upload the videos it's like very irregular because I've been loaded with uh, AppSec assessments and pen tests for the last maybe entire 2022 and I barely have time to um, do videos and I have zero time to do bug bounties. So the only bug bounties that I'm currently doing are private programs on two or three platforms. So, uh, yeah, uh, let's actually, that being said, let's actually look into unencrypted communication. So, first video attacks, next video defenses, and the quiz, which is, I don't know, I mean, I'm not really sure what I'm do why I'm actually having it in the second video, but still. So, let's see unencrypted communication, what it is about. Insufficient encryption can make you vulnerable to men in the middle attacks. Be sure to use HTTPS whenever transmitting any type of sensitive information. Now, okay, so let's actually have a little or add a little bit of context here. Be sure to use HTTPS. Well, this is 2022. Now, there might be places, obscure places on the internet where HTTPS is not the norm, but most of most of the websites, most of working websites um, nowadays are actually forcing HTTPS. So it's not like, this is not as valid as probably when they've put it on hacksplaining.com, maybe five or six years ago, or even uh, earlier back, maybe then it wasn't as prevalent as, as it is today to force, enforce HTTPS. Uh, the browsers, even the browsers actually force you or force HTTPS unless you actually go deep into the settings and disable that feature. And I've only done that for some sort of uh, tests that I've been doing on a couple of clients where I had to do that, but Otherwise, I wouldn't say that it applies. TLS is a cryptographic protocol that allows client server applications to communicate across the network in a way designed to prevent eavesdropping and tampering. Website authors should ensure any sensitive communication is done over HTTPS, which makes use of the TLS protocol. However, hosting and renewing certificates requires a little maintenance. It's often tempting to get lazy about following best practices. I would say that's not the case because m most often than not renewing certificates or the price of certificates is actually zero from a lot of host providers plus renewing and uh, yeah renewing the certificate is actually a single click action so Regardless, it's important then to keep in mind what uh, risks we run if we don't use encrypted communication. So, of course, if so, I'm not actually going to keep on saying that this is not happening nowadays, but let's actually uh, see what would happen if this is the case. Uh, let's look at, uh, they say, to look at an example of how hackers can take advantage of unencrypted communication through uh, men, through, not though, a man in the middle attack. So in this case, someone actually eavesdrops, eavesdrops on your communication. Let's say, for example, in a Wi-Fi, in a public Wi-Fi, they actually sort of like take over the Wi-Fi, look at the entire communication. They see your communication, which is unencrypted, plain text. But still, that's a scenario from like 20 or 2008, 2010. 
Mel is a hacker. Today um, is his day off from hacking, but he enjoys his job so much he has decided to do some recreational hacking. Spare time hacking is the best hacking. Mel takes his laptop to his favorite coffee shop, so yeah, public Wi-Fi, buys a coffee and makes himself comfortable. One mucha frappuccino with uh, the tears of an orphan. The cafe has a free Wi-Fi for its caffeine-swilling patrons or patrons but not Patreons. So Mel knows a lot of uh, people coming here with laptops. Ooh. Mel lays his trap by setting up his own Wi-Fi hotspot with an ambiguous name, hoping to trick people into using it. Yeah. His hotspot proxies traffic, uh, proxies traffic through the internet, but he also sets up a network sniffer so he can inspect any traffic. Well, this is sort of like 2008 game, but still. Uh, for those of you who know Backtrack, passes through. Stan is a customer. He has a hard day getting owned at work and needs coffee to unwind. Okay. He connects to a likely looking hotspot, not knowing that Mal is watching his uh, even more. This crumbles guest Wi-Fi, I guess. Yeah, so technically this could happen nowadays, but why would you do that? It, it probably, probably happens intentionally. It's not like I would go, if I were a malicious hacker, it's not like I would go randomly in a public cafe or some place with open Wi-Fi and just steal people's credentials for what? For a couple of, I don't know, credentials for what exactly? Because I don't care about other people's private stuff, to be honest, unless I would be hired by someone to actually target a certain person and then actually try to do something about it maybe but still I think it's a highly unlikely scenario but for the sake of uh, this unencrypted communication issue let's just move on Stan is perfectly safe when he visits sites that implement HTTPS everything except the domain of the site is encrypted in the HTTP packet so someone would actually only see the domain of the site that you're visiting. Still, I would think that that might not be visible. I would have to actually look it via a packet, network packet analysis or network analysis tool such as uh, Wireshark. However, anytime stands visit a site that doesn't use an encryp uh, encryption, Mal can see the conversation. Mal happily starts Let's go back one. Mal happily starts recording on secure credentials and other sensitive information. Oh, let's pay off my credit card while I'm here. Right. I wonder in what time, in what 1900s credit card websites would still be using um, HTTP only. By the time Mel has finished his coffee, he has a whole file of hacked data. He disconnects his hotspot and heads out without anyone being any the wiser. Wow, where did my connection go? Hmm. And that's just one reason you need HTTPS. Let's learn some best practices for encrypted communication. So yeah, that was, uh, that was it for the attack video. Like I said, and I would have to reiterate, this is sort of like an unlikely scenario these days, especially for websites that deal with um, important or sensitive information such as credentials, credit card, personal information, and stuff like that. But still, there might be some HTTP-only websites out there.